Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna show you how to culture mealworm. Before into the topic, you need to know the life cycle of the mealworm itself. The first life form is from eggs, hatch into larvae, and then turn into pupae, and then become a beetle or commonly called duckling beetle. First thing first, you need some kind of container that had hole in it for the air circulation with barn for the media. Also, you can use oatmeal for substitution, but I prefer wheat barn because it's very cheap. Then the microworm itself, you can pout them in your nearby pet store. For their water source, you can use any fruit or vegetable. In this case, I use tomato. The process is very simple. Just put all of it into the container, then wait until they turn into pupae. Don't forget to replace their water source at least once a week. After three weeks, they start to turn into pupae, and now you need to separate them from the larvae because they can be cannibal. I use different container with the same media. Also, I put X-ray for the beetle to crawl into. Separate all the pupae and then wipe. For the defected beetle and pupae, will go into cricket's jar, so nothing gonna waste. After 15 days, all of them already turn into pupae, and most of them already become a beetle. Also, they will start to breed after their exoskeleton turn black and laying eggs into the media so you need to separate the beetle from the media and then replace it with the fresh one I use fine sieve to separate the beetle to separate the beetle from the dirt and the pupae you can use x-ray just put it on the top and they will crawl After 5 minutes and voila, you don't need to pick it up one by one. The fected beetle and the dirt, everything is separated. In this time, they are already laying eggs in the media and some of them already hatch. Now I prepare the same media for the beetle. Some of them maybe didn't lay in their eggs yet. The media is same as before. Just put everything in and you are done. Same for the larvae. Just put everything in. Don't forget to feed them with fresh fruit or vegetable for their water source. Put in the safe place and then wipe. You can use excess dirt from the first batch as fertilizer for your garden. At this point, the beetle will start to dying because of their old age. So, make sure you dispose them quickly before they can cause mold or ruin your culture media. At least after 50 days, they start turning into pupae again and you can harvest it. As always, use sieve to remove the dirt. This is all I got, maybe three times more than the first starter. 
also I got the pupae from the next culture as always the third for your carton fertilizer just put the pupae into the fresh media and it's ready to go after harvest it you can freeze the larvae to preserve it and then you can feed your fish with frozen larvae <laughs> for watch please subscribe and turn on that bell notification button and see you in the next episode